Ciao. Buonasera. Como esta ahí? Welcome to Wine with Marco. I'm your host, Marco. Nope, this is not going to be me teaching you Italian. What is it today? What is today? Today is Wine Down Wednesday. Wine Down Wednesday is the middle of the week. It's the hump. Your boss may be up your butt. If you're self-employed, your employees may be driving you nuts. Or simply your significant other is driving you nuts. So you're going to splurge. Middle of the week, you can't wait for the weekend. Nice high-end bottle of wine. And that's what we're doing today. Hence, look behind me. Do you see it? Do you see the hill sides in Piemonte, Italy? Hence why I was talking Italian. I'm taking you to Italy. We're going to Italia. We are going to Italy. We are going to drink the great, great, the great wine. Look at that. Barolo. Barolo. Yes, there is a decanter too. You can see. And there is a wine glass. Yes, there is. Pio Cesare Barolo 2007. Now you're probably sitting there saying, whoa, 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 wait a second here. Hold on. You have a decanter. The wine's already poured, and the wine is not open. Marco, Marco, trust. You're doing something shady here. Well, hold on. Let me make sure I got my teacher-esque glasses on. This is where the informational part comes from. Yeah, I have several bottles of the 07. Went, opened it, decanted it, poured it, because I wanted to have air. This is an 07. It's, it's a very, very, very old wine. Think about it. In terms of what today is, you're 13 years in. So it needs to breathe. So as I'm doing that, I'm looking at the bottle, and the bottle just yeah, scratched up mold all the way on the outside. So here's where the information comes. Information comes just because your label is a little scratchy scratched and you have a little moldy mold on the label. Doesn't mean your wine's bad. Has nothing to do with the juice that's in this bottle. But for all practice and purposes of this informational video, I wanted to make sure that we had a nice, beautiful bottle, pristine. Ah, she's a so beautiful, ah, Bella, Bella Rosia, so beautiful. So, here is the thing. The owner of this wine was a very bad, bad person. Bad person, Marco. Bad person. When you take a cellar and move it from one place to the other place, you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta have proper temperature all the way through. We'll do a whole other show on that, but yeah, I didn't do that with some of my bottles and hence, that's why the bottle was all scrapped up and moldy and all that fun stuff. But again, the juice that's in the bottle is absolutely fantastico. Okay, so we are going to talk about Pio Cesare Barolo. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to show you the decanter one more time. I want you to see my beautiful face. How am I looking today? Man, my hair, you know, I, I could use a haircut. Kind of getting long, but all right, we'll get rid of this. We'll keep the bottle here. I'll do another close up. Look at that, look at that bottle. Ooh, yeah, she's a beauty. Okay, put it over here. Ha, huh. 
Barolo. What is Barolo? Barolo is in the Piemonte region. The grape for Barolo is Nibiolo. Nibiolo, they think years ago, it came from the term or the word Nibia. Nibia in Italian means fog. So in October in the Piemonte region, deep fog sets in and hence that's where that came from. Uh, Nibiolo is also in Barbaresco and there's three other wines but not very well known. We won't get into that today but so you understand Barolo is a Nibiolo grape. Okay and then what we got is the winery peel. Yeah you're liking this aren't you? Different shirt huh? But look at that big maize and blue baby. A little tight. I mean, you go on a diet or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure that one out later. But Pio Cesare Winery, born in 1881. Five generations of family have had the uh, uh, hands on, on the, the bottlings. Uh, my dog is now chewing on my shoe. Hey, sorry about that. Didn't mean to... Uh, get out of there, but um, the cellar is in a historic area of Elba region. It, it's got this uh, great ancient Roman walls. Uh, they got 170 acres of grapes that they plant. And you know, I could go on and on and on about so much of the winery and, and uh, a buffa who's uh, one of the founders of Pio Cesare, but I'm just going to tell you this. The wine is consistent juice year in, year out, all the time, always. So think in terms of this. So think in terms of 2001. I don't know, say um, James Suckling Rating gave it, and I'm not looking at it, so I don't quote me on this. Say it was 93 points, okay? So at the end of the day, that was 2001. That was a good year for Barolo in that region. But 2002 was not a good growing year. The, the weather, there's a lot of bad conditions there. And yet this producer, Pio Cesare, actually produced a good bottle and got a low 90 rating. So, I mean, that's just a testament to them. But let's go on to the wine. The wine itself. I'm going to give it a little swirl here. Swirly swirl. Okay. Look at the legs, because we now know. What about the legs? Winner gets a... Oh, that's right. I can't do any promotional stuff. Knock, knock. Who's there? Winery. Winery who? Winery. My relationships. Come on. Join the party here. So all my great fans out there can get a little something promotional sent to them if they win the challenge. Knock, knock. Who's there? Distributors. Distributors get in the game too. Come on. Well, uh, you know what, what the legs are. Legs are telling you how much alcohol is in this bottle, and I'm going to pick up the bottle and tell you it is high in alcohol, 14.5%. You're gonna notice the color here. The color is very light, like brickish light, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's, think in terms of this too. Barolo is the Burgundy Pinot Noir of France. The conditions, the growing, all that is basically the same as if you were in Burgundy, France. So think of this as the Piemonte version of a Pinot Noir in simple terms. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go in and give this a, what are we gonna do? Can't hear you. Hello, a little schnazz. We're gonna come in and do a little schnazz. A little snuffle off, I guess. Ooh. 
Wow. Zesty red fruits you're getting off this bottle. Um, some sassy spice. Wow, uh, leather, a uh, little, little, little bit of tar. Let's taste. Oh, opulent, rich, and here's, let me make sure I got my, my teacher-esque glasses on. Just because the wine is light doesn't mean it can't be rich and powerful and big in flavors. It's my little tidbit. So what you're getting off of this, mmm. Raspberries, uh, plums. Mm. I'm, I'm picking up like a little toasted espresso bean on the back end. Absolutely delicious. It, it, it's so dense in texture. You gotta find P.O. Cesare and pick up a bottle. Uh, cost, upon release, you know, anywhere probably in the $60, $70 bracket. Vintages can go up into the hundreds. I don't know what you out there, my viewer, considers high end. You know, some might think Anything over 50s high or could be 40, but this right here, my cost was at that time about $58. Right now it's going for, I think, anywhere from 80 to 100. So well worth the special occasion. Absolutely amazing, amazing juice. Great producer. You find P.O. Cesare, go and buy it. Now, also, just so you know, they also make a Pio Cesare Niboli Lang, which is basically using this grape, but the processing is not as intense and as long. So it's basically a baby Barolo. So find those, those are a lot more reasonably priced. Okay, I got the dogs going, sorry for that. But, we are going to talk about the next video. The next video is Thursday. What are we going to do on Thursday? Excuse me for a second. Hey, uh, Bentley? Bentley, we're trying to finish the show here. Hey, Louie, Bentley? Bentley? My dogs, we live on the water, actually see an alligator and they're barking at it. Don't think that's quite wise. But... Thursday is going to be Thirsty Thursday. Woo! Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursdays are going to be a little lower in alcohol wine so you can consume a lot more of it. So everybody, stay safe, stay healthy. And what we do at every end of every video, we say, Salud Chindan!